y equals square root of x. Now, to find the domain of this, you know that you cannot square root of negative number. You can square root of 0, because square root 0 is 0. But you cannot square root a negative number. So you know that is inside here must be positive. So in another word, x must be greater or equal to 0. So therefore, that is your domain. So I write it down here, domain. Domain is x is greater or equal to 0. Then because x is equal to 0, is the smallest number. So if x is 0, y must be square root of 0, which is, sorry, 0. So that means 0. So 0 is the smallest value for y as well. So range is y is greater or equal to 0. How about y is equal to, not equal, yeah, equal to 5 minus x. Let's make it equal to 5 minus x, square root. Now, to find the domain and range for this, same rule apply. You know that you cannot square root a negative number. So, in another word, inside here must be greater or equal to 0. That's the condition. So, 5 minus x is must be greater or equal to 0. And I move negative x on this side. So, which give me 5 is greater or equal to x. So in another word, x is less than or equal to 5. So your domain, domain is x greater or equal to 5. And for range, I write here first. So range is, you know, that's the smallest value of 5. We substitute in there. So y must be square root of 0, which is 0. So this is the, the smallest number because it's the smallest number 5, you substitute in, give me 0. So y must be greater or equal to 0. Or you can do a different technique, which is using graph. Okay, so let's say y, y is equal to square root of x. So if you you get this because x square if you square both sides y square of x so y square x equal y square is this way like that see so if it minus so if it y equal 5 minus x square root so you square both sides same thing so y square equal 5 minus x so i move on this side y so I move the x, this one, on this side, and that one back to this. So x is equal to 5 minus y squared. Now, minus y squared is going this way. Then, because it's plus 5, this one is just same as um, minus y squared plus 5. Same theory. So you mean you move 5 on this side. Otherwise, when y equals 0, x is 5. So your graph is go this way. See, now this one here is 5 minus x squared. No, sorry, 5 minus x. And this one here is minus 5 minus x. Because every time you square root, you get a plus or a minus. That's why. So this one, this is 5. See, this one here is x less than 5. And then y is above 0. So you can do this technique as well. So y equal y equal five power power of x. So I, if I do a just do a quick sketch, it help me out. So you know that if you don't know what it look like, just plot a few points because this kind of graph is quite easy. Just to um, substitute a few values in. So anything power of 0, so x is 0, 5 power of 0, anything power of 0 is 1. And then when x is 1, 1 power of 5 is 5. 
I mean, sorry, five part one is five. And then if x is two, so five square and so on, it move up. When x is negative one, so y must be five part minus one, which is one fifth and getting smaller and so smaller. And in fact, your graph is like this. Yeah? That's your graph. So the domain, domain of this is all real x because x can be any value any any real in um real numbers so all real x and range is can you can see y must greater than zero cannot be because zero is approaching zero but have to be above zero so y is greater than zero x square plus y square is equal to four so you recognize that okay this is a circle so a circle with center is zero zero and the radius is two so i just do a quick sketch so this is center zero zero so i just quickly sketch it this is minus two minus two 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 the radius so you can see uh domain x is between minus 2 and 2 so which is x is between 2 negative 2 and for range range is this this value here so y is between minus 2 and 2 as well you can see that so minus 2 and 2 x minus 2 all square plus y square equal 9 so you know that the center this is a circle with the center is 2 0 and the radius is R square is 9, so radius must be square root 9 is 3. So to sketch this, the center is 2 here, 2, 0, the radius is 3, 1, 2, 3, up here, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, down, and 1, 2, 3 there. So your graph it just go like that, and then like this. There you go. So you can see this is the the domain of this is along here. Sorry, I just moved this up a bit. So the domain is this one here, x values. So this is because is the center is two here and zero. So you move two three more to the to the right here, which is five, and then move three, move two, another one, which is three, so minus one. And then this is three negative, of course, along here, and then this is three there. So the domain first. So the domain of this is x is between negative one and then five. And the range for this graph, or for this circle, if you like, is between minus three and y and less than three. Let's do last question here. Let's say y is equal to 4x plus 5 all over 2x. So to find the domain and range of this, you can see clearly the, the denominator cannot be equal to 0. So therefore, x cannot be equal to 0. So which is x is much different from 0. So that actually will give you the domain the restriction is x cannot be equal to zero because two times zero is zero so you cannot divide by zero so that's your domain so i just write the domain first so the domain is for x is x is different from zero or you can write all real x except x equal to zero now to find the range so you have to find the limit so we first of all we want to find the limit of x approach to plus or minus infinity 
so y which is equal to limit x approach to plus minus infinity of 4x plus 5 over 2x now if you look at the numerator 4x plus 5 4x is the largest so you can ignore 5 because x approach to infinity a really big number so 5 doesn't really matter okay and then the bottom here denominator 2x is the largest of course so if you think about it so you that's left with 4x over 2x so 4x over 2x if you simplify this give me 4 over 2 is 2 so it's actually equal to 2 now it's not equal to approaching to 2 that's a y values so therefore your range your range for this graph is y is approach to 2 which is different from 2 or you can say range or real y except y equal to 2 thank you so much for watching my videos